Hey guys, I'm Locutus, and uh, welcome back to Star Trek Online. Uh, where we left this, we uh, had changed everything around a bit, picked up our original series ship and crew and everything to properly pay tribute to Leonard Nimoy, and we'd come to Vulcan to visit the memorial that the developers have uh, added to the game. And that's where we are at the moment. But now um, it's time to leave Vulcan and uh, carry on with the next mission. So let's beam back to the ship. Cyvok to Nimoy. One to beam up. Energize. Cyrek. I don't know who they just beamed up there. Or the, maybe there's some guy on the planet called Cyvok. Keep getting it wrong. Cyrek. Cyrek is my character name. I will remember it eventually. I did used to have a character called Cyvok, I think. But uh, it was another guy who was making a Vulcan character, effectively, but I'm pretty sure I deleted him to recreate, to, to start afresh for you guys on here, so... Uh... Anyway, let's go and do the first mission. So yeah, we have to go and answer the distress call from the SS Azura, which is a uh, Federation freighter. Let's bring the map up. The SS Azura is over here. the USS Leonard Nimoy, our new Constitution-class ship. As we carry on en route to uh, the next system. Uh, if my voice has been a little muted throughout this recording, by the way, I just realized my microphone was not quite as down as I wanted it to be, but uh, apologies if that's the case. Should be alright, it's a pretty good microphone. It, Let's continue. Yep. Any ships in range? This is Dana Brot of the Transport SS Azura. Please help. Warp core containment field down. Radiation flooding. Oh no! Let's carry on there. Uh, actually, before we go any further, I just realized something else. Which is... First of all, we are going to change this tab here to have two windows so we can see... That's the control screen. And that's the alt screen. And we haven't actually got any officers assigned to the slots on the ship, so let's go to stations and have Eliza Flores with her torpedo high yield skill in there. And Zarva as our chief engineer. And our science officer, Tyrell. I'll give us our abilities back. There we go. And we have got some more skill points to spend, so let's put some more points in shield emitters. That's just the way I like to run science ships at this level, is just boost up the shields as much as possible. I'm not sure how you actually learn these other skills now, because it's all changed around. You used to train them from here. I guess I'll figure that out later. Okay. Reputation. Only got the Q events at the moment. Can't do any other event training and let's put Colas in as our last officer there. There we go. Of our default away team. And we'll go to the Azura. Which is over here in this asteroid field. And we're going to minimize the chat window again, because we don't need to see all that. Rescue the SS Azura, let's begin the mission! So we enter the system, and we begin the mission stranded in space. 
20 ships in range. This is Diana Brot of the Transport SS Azura. Please help. We are being pursued by Orion Raiders. Crew injured. Taking heavy fire. Dropping out of warp near your coordinates. Need immediate evacuation assistance. Please help us. Tavrel, keep tracking that distress signal. And there she is. Uh oh. Orion Raiders! Shields are holding at the moment, but I don't know how long she'll last. She's only a freighter. And there's. Oh, more Orion Raiders dropped out. They're going to attack us. Uh, let's get stuck in. Sir, sensors are picking up several light attack craft on an intercept course. We need to deal with them before we can render aid to the SS Azura. Defeat the Orion Raiders. Full power to shields. Helm, take us in range. Red alert. Let's scan this gas cloud here first, though, because we get some resources out of that. We'll do the little mini game. Just got to match the waveforms. Uh, a lot of people don't realize you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to do those little mini games. It uh, makes it a lot quicker and easier to take them. And, yep, yeah, we'll target the closest ship. And we'll set our energy levels. You've got to do this for each ship separately, by the way, if you change ships. So, uh, and we'll set our phasers to auto fire. And we want our torpedoes in slot one. And we want these up there. Fire! And listen to that glorious original series noise. Tacky on him a bit. How cool is that? And we got a console out of that. And that's an engineering console. It's going to boost our auxiliary power setting. And I believe we have a spare auxiliary engineering console slot, so we'll put that in straight away. It's not a massively great console, but it's better than zero, so... Uh, what have we got here, anyway? We've got some abilities. We've got Command, Weapon System Efficiency... Ah, right, this is technically a Command, a cruiser type ship, so we get these Command options here. So, well, actually, yeah, we will put these over here, so... We don't want, um... And we can use that to summon a shuttle pet if we wanted to. It doesn't actually do anything, though. It just, you know, follows you around and looks fun. So we're not going to launch it. Let's go over here. Let's go to full impulse. We're going to drop out before we get... Oh, no, I got a bit too close. And let's hit, uh... Weapon system efficiency. So our weapons will fire more efficiently. And torpedoes. That wasn't a very good shot though, that was quite inaccurate. options are I can boost my shield effectiveness or I can increase my maneuvering or that essentially makes me tank now if I actually had to defend this ship I'd use that one because it uh, keeps other things from targeting me but uh, at the moment I want the weapon efficiency one because it just um, boosts my damage output, which for you know when you're playing solo, for the most part, is what you're going to want. 
Sometimes you want shields, but uh, let's scan the Azura. Away team, report to the transporter room. Elevated radiation levels. Transporter chief, the situation. She can brief you before you uh, beep to the. Yeah, let's go to the transporter room then. We're going to take our wonderfully uniformed up original series crew over there then. Except, obviously, because this is part of the mission rather than actually part of my ship, it looks like a modern transporter room. But uh, never mind. Let's speak to the chief anyway. Captain, I'm detecting uh, concern about the radiation. She might have some damage to the warp core, but our sensors can't pick up enough to determine exactly what you'll find over there. I'm sure I can send you and the away team to the ship safely, but getting you back might be a problem until the critical damage is repaired. Step on the transporter pad, and when you're ready to go, and be careful, sir. Try and keep a lock on us, and prepare to transport survivors. Let's go then. It's another thing I'm ashamed there. It would be nice if you had the original Trent communicators as well. So you could flip them out rather than just tap your comm badge, but uh, you know, it's only a uniform change, so. Okay. Multiple life signs. Some of them are Azura's Captain Crew, but the rest are Orion. Uh oh, they've been boarded. So we might have to fight. Use the consoles to bypass the conduits. Yep, we've got to override these plasma conduits. Plasma leaks are blocking our path to the survivors. We will need to use the consoles to safely vent the plasma. Rescuing survivors is our top priority, Ensign. Switch to, uh... So we can loot over here. Let's open this container. Uh, nothing much, but uh, you know, it's free stuff. You should always take it. Especially early on in the game when every credit matters. And you don't have enough money to do stuff, like rename the ship and things like that. Uh, can either of these doors open? Oh, that one opens. We can't go through there. Oh, there's an Orion. Let's shoot him. I don't think we can actually get to him until we... Yeah, not until we shut that off. Well, let's check this out first. Oh, there's an injured crewman. Now, because I'm a science officer, I believe I can heal him. Science is essentially the same as medical in this game for purposes of, you know, whether it lets you treat people. I'm not sure if you can treat them when you're out being assigned something this one, but I will definitely treat him while I can. Cyric to Nimoy. I'm sending injured to the transport room. Transport them to sickbay as quickly as possible. Sorry, Captain. The radiation levels are too high. I can I get a lock? Okay, she's Vulcan, but I'm doing Scotty's voice anyway. Have the survivors wait on the pad until they're ready. Okay, uh, yeah. Go to the transport room. Wait there. Anything else in here? Nope. Onwards then. There's a console here. Bypass plasma conduit. Now we can kill this Orion. And they even vaporize with that sort of TOS blue vaporization effect. TOS phases I gave all the crew, by the way, are actually quite good, especially at low level, but again, like I said, you would have had to buy the TOS pack to get them. I'm not even sure you can still buy the TOS pack. It might have been a legacy thing that anything you bought back in the day when it was available is still, you know, in your account. But not everyone can get it now, so it's kind of cool that if, if it is the case, that's kind of nifty, because it's, you know, something a little unique that I've got that other people can't just buy at will. still by the ship, but um, I don't know if you can get the phaser pack like that. You can get TOS phasers in the game anyway from certain mission rewards, but 
I like being able to do it at the start like this. Especially for the purposes of this playthrough where's, you know, the Nimoy tribute. Let's scan this. Some ore, we just do a little scanny puzzle again. And there's another console to bypass the next plasma conduit. down here. Orions, get him! This guy. Feeling much better now. And you can also get yourself the transporter room. And we got an accolade for successfully treating all those guys. And there's a few different things you can do in this mission to get different accolades. Um, as a science officer, I think it's treating those engine crewmen. As an engineer, I think you can stabilize the warp core or something, and actually save the ship. And tactical, I think you can use certain things like blow out panels and kill some of the Orions in the corridors and stuff, but... Uh, I'm not sure if we actually can save the ship as a science officer. If you're playing in a group, you can do all of them, and you all get the accolades. Scanning the warp core, Captain. Catastrophic failure is imminent. Unless we can breaches contained, the Azura will be destroyed. Let's talk to, uh... Can we do anything? Nope. Not yet. Let's talk to Captain Brot. We hit an Orion ambush on our way to K7. We lost our weapons almost immediately. And then took a direct hit near engineering. Our warp core's engine's magnetic antimatter containment has failed. We have no choice but to drop shields and use the power to try and stabilize the containment field. As soon as the shields were down, the Orions boarded the ship. I'll never let those green pirates have the Azura. Please take my crew to safety. I'll keep trying to stabilize the warp core. If I'm lucky, I can buy you some time. Scoot Azura crew through. I'll help your crew. Okay, can we do anything to save the ship? Scan the warp core. Yep. Unfortunately, we need an engineering player to do that has to be a player, you can't just use an engineering officer of your away team. Oh. Thoron particles, let's have those. Scanny, scanny, scan. Uh, they used to be used for all sorts of reward vendors and stuff, but... Uh, particles and stuff are now part of the crafting system, which has been overhauled again quite a lot. I've not really looked into it yet, but... Uh, apparently it's been very heavily overhauled and it's actually quite good now. Crafting used to be a bit rubbish in this game, to be honest, but... Uh, Again, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, we're just going to keep following, you know, the beginner stuff of the game, playing this through as, uh, you know, as if we were a new player. What have we got on slot seven and eight? By the way, we have medical tricorder, which heals us, and tricorder scan, which is damage resistance and stealth debuff. Let's get him. No friendly fire in this building, you just shoot through your own crewmen. Some Cardassian yamak sauce. What is a yamak anyway? go. Roll. Go 
through the transporter room. We'll be right behind you. Away team to Nimoy. Chief, are you ready to transport? The Azura's radiation levels are returning to normal. The survivors of the Azura's crew are on the transporter pad. We don't have much time. Get these people off the ship now. We have them, sir. Well done, Chief. Sensors detect more Orion ships on the way, Captain. We need you back on the bridge. Back to the transporter pad with us, then. Beam us back. Orion ships, back to the bridge. Away team, prepare for emergency transport. Hey, No, we'll just use the turbo lift. Beam us to the bridge. If we were gonna, they could have beamed us directly from the Azura, surely. Anyway, back to space we go. Captain, incoming message from the Orions. Leave now, if you know what's good for you, Starfleet. We're taking the ship, her crew, and her cargo. The Zero and her crew are under Starfleet's protection. Uh oh, some Orion Corvettes! Eat phasers! And photons. Not like that. He don't like it up him. That's two down. Let's loot that. And oh blimey. Let's take out these little interceptors first, because they're annoying. They're quite hard to hit, as you can see, but uh They don't take an awful lot of killing either. I'm pretty sure we can keep launching them though. A torpedo. Let's equalize my shields and boost them a bit. Alright, let's deal with this cruiser now. Battleship, even. Divert power to weapons. Shield facings dropping. Torpedoes! A palpable hit. Tachyons as well. Evasive maneuvers. Swing round and have another torpedo salvo. That should finish him. Let's take the loot. And we got some more engineering consoles, one of which was a Mark II engineering uh, field emitter console. Let's uh, get us in range and beam Captain Brot out, but first, let's equip that console. Which. Boost our shield power setting, field emitter. Oh yeah, we'll have that. And we will replace the auxiliary one. Yep. Yeah. What's that do? Yeah, that's the same but less, so... And we're actually, uh... Close enough already to just, uh... Attempting to transport lock on Captain Brotzer, boosting containment. We have her, Captain. Just in time as well. Like I say, if I had an engineering guy, we could have stabilized the ship and saved it, but uh 
Captain Brock is safely aboard, sir. And it's just time, too. We've got her aboard just before the ship exploded. Captain Brock has requested that we take her and her crew to sector space. Starfleet will get them home from there. She said she would be happy to speak to you if you wish. Let's uh, speak to Captain Brock briefly. You saved my crew, Lieutenant. I'll tell you whatever I can. Not interested. Let's leave. Depart system. Ready to leave. You have completed all objectives. Yes, I wish to depart. And that is the first uh, main mission. Successful. Again, like I said before, um, I'm hoping you know most of these videos as like as we go forward in the game are going to be a little bit shorter than the ones we've done in the past on this game so far, because uh, you know there's a lot of stuff to do in the intro sequence. But I'm going to keep these for you know one mission per video for the most part, and that should keep things to a little more of a manageable level. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of rewards here anyway, though. We've got um, you know, obviously some skill points and some credits. Uh, do we get credits actually? I don't think we did get credits. And we've got um, some better equipment for the ship as well. Congratulations, Lieutenant. And we got promoted. And I'm officially a 300-day veteran. Uh, that's because I'm already a 300-day veteran. It just happens when you get to that level. So, uh, and we'll pick up the next mission while we're here. You don't have to actually go back to Starfleet for this. Is a thing. You don't have to turn missions of in back at the you know mission givers or anything like that, like you do in some MMOs, because you know. We have subspace radio. We're on a starship. We just hail them. Diplomatic orders. Lieutenant, we have diplomatic mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his homeworld at the monastery to the monastery of Pajem. Capturing the ambassador would be a major coup for the Klingons or Orions, so we're assigning you to make sure everything goes smoothly. You are to escort Ambassador Soketh to Pajem. Please meet him at Vulcan. Once you locate him, speak to him about the transport's mission. Do whatever is necessary to keep him safe. Escort Vulcan Ambassador Sokath to the Monastery on Pajem in the Sirius Sector Block. You can find the Ambassador at Vulcan, which is located in the Sirius Sector Block. And we'll get some stuff here. The data recorder lets us review, you know, various information and recordings from Ambassador Spock. Narrated by Elena Nimoy, obviously. And we'll get some better weapons, uh, some better personal shields, and some more Dilithium. Uh, we're going to cancel it here, though. Uh, we are going to go to up here, and we're going to go to Dilithium. Or is it? It's in the inventory, I think. Assets. Here we are. Yep. Refined Dilithium. You're limited to amount of Dilithium you can refine per day. I think it's something like... Yeah, here we are. It's... 8,000. Now, that may be different for me from fully free to play with, because like I said, I have been a subscriber in the past. I'm only playing free at the moment, though, so but uh, it does affect what you can do a little bit. But um, Let's go... No, 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 we don't want to accelerate. We want to go into the ship. Uh, actually, I want to go back to myself, because I want to equip this better armor that I've got. Energy damping armor. Mark II, which will give us some more bonuses. Do any of our crew not have armor? Oh, yeah. No, yep. Colas can have uh, that other old set of armor there. Actually, no. No, no. Colas doesn't need it. Tavrel can have it, because Tavrel's our medic, essentially, on the ground, so uh, we want to keep her standing, obviously, as a priority. Uh, personal shields, Mark 1. That's actually better than... Uh, what have I got? Standard issue. Yeah, we'll equip those Mark 1 ones because they are slightly better again. Yep. And we'll go back to the ship. And we will equip the slightly improved shields. And this slightly improved warp core. Which will also increase our sector speed, because the maximum warp factor is now 5.6. We can go a bit faster in sector space. As I remember now, it's uh, 
since they've changed it around. It's not your level that affects your ship speed, it's the warp cores, because they didn't used to have upgradable warp cores for ships, but they do now. Obviously they are themselves limited by what level you are, but... Uh, and we don't want to equip either of those over the two consoles we already have, so... And we also have this, Azura Personal Com Code. Uh, now if I click it, in sector space, map their ability, in a second, the Azura 2 will warp in, and I can talk to the Azura 2, which will let me get to commendation, commodities, mail, bank, exchange, all from sector space. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to the bank, and we're going to open the bank tab here, and we're just going to dump this extra stuff because, honestly, it's pretty worthless to trade it in, but you never know. I just don't want it cluttering up my ship at the moment. That'll do. That'll fly off in a little while on its own. Uh, anyone else who can use that as well when they're in the area, so, you know, if you see someone else as a zero floating around, you can always uh, use it to open uh, trading. And then uh, we need to head over to Vulcan for the next mission. Uh, but that's where we're going to call it for this one, guys. So, uh, yeah. A little bit of a shorter video, hopefully, and this is about the sort of the mission length I'm hoping to see going forward, or at least, you know, not too much longer than this. So, yeah, if you like the video, do please hit like. And uh, if you want to see more of the same, uh, hit subscribe, obviously. And, uh, yeah, any comments are always welcome, uh, so please do leave them. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!